Welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Math Channel, and now I'm going to answer question number seven from the June 2023 International A Level Edexcel Pure Mathematics P1 paper. This question seems to be about um, inequalities and regions and straight line graphs. Okay, so first of all, it says here the region R1 shown shaded in figure two, it's like this trapezium shape here, is defined by the inequalities uh, y is between zero and two y is less than or equal to 10 minus 2x and y is less than or equal to k minus x so that's that shaded region here that trapezium shape it says where k is a constant the line x equals a where a is a constant passes through the intersections between line y equals 2 and the line y equals kx all right and given that the area of r1 is 27 over 4 square units we've got to find the value of a and the value of k all right so now We've got to find the value of a. a is basically this um, equation of this line here. So a is how far along we are. We could say from, let me um, get some pre. It's basically how long, how far along we are from the x-axis to here. That would be a, okay, from the origin to here. That's the distance A. That's what we need to find in part part one. Okay, so now, they've given us that the area of R1 is 27 over 4 square units. So we've got to consider the area of a trapezium. Now, the area of a trapezium is the distance between the parallel sides. So that distance from there to there, we know that distance is 2. I know that that distance is 2 units because it's the vertical height, the height between the two parallel sides. Okay, um, and this distance here, I can see that the distance between here and here up to that point is basically from zero, which is the origin, until this line hits the x-axis. Where does this line hit the x-axis? When y equals zero. So when 10 minus 2x equals zero, so 10 equals 2x, so x equals five. So that's the point five there. So the base of the trapezium is five, okay? And now what we need to find is this length here that will help us to, that will be the area of the trapezium. So if I know that, I don't know what this length here is, but I can find that length, that length. Um, that won't be my answer, but I'm sure that will help me get my answer. So let's find what that length is there. Okay, because we have basically a trapezium now. What we've got so far is the following. We've got that this is five and this is two. And this, I've called it P, just called it a random letter P. Okay, um, but I know the area of the trapezium is 27 over 4. So I can say that 27 over 4 square units is equal to the distance between the parallel sides divided by 2 times the sum of the parallel sides. Okay, so this is going to, these two will cancel out. So I'm, I'm left with 27 over 4 minus 5 equals P. So P is equal to 27 over 4 minus 20 over 4 is 7 over 4. So this is 7 over 4 units from there to there. Okay, now, I need to find that length. Now, what I notice is that point here, if I think about that point there and I drop a perpendicular line down, that point here, the x-coordinate of that point, okay, is going to tell me um, the distance from, from these two points. It will tell me the distance from there to there. Okay, and my a... And I know what this is now, this, this distance. Let me get rid of this 5 for now. I know that the distance between um, these two points, this is P, which is 27 over, no, 7 over 4, sorry. This is 7 over 4 I just found. So 7 over 4 is between these two. So I can see my A is going to be this length minus 7 over 4. So how do I find this length? Well, this is where this line... 10 minus 2x intersects with this line y equals 2. So we replace the y with 2. We're going to end up with 8 equals 2x. Therefore, x equals 4. So this is the point where x equals 4. Okay, so I can see that um, yeah, up to this point, x equals 4. All right. So up to this point, x equals 4. So that's going to be 4. So we can say that from here to here is... 4 and from here to here is a okay so we can say this is going to be 4 minus p so therefore our a is equal to 4 minus p which is 4 minus 7 over 4 which is 16 over 4 
minus 7 over 4, which is 9 over 4. So we found the value of A. Okay, so therefore A equals 9 over 4. All right, so now we know what A is. Okay, so now we can find what K is. Why? Because we can see that Y equals 2 um, will intersect with Y equals KX at the point, this point here, this is the point now, A2, at the point A2. And we know A is 9 over 4, so at the point 9 over 4, 2. So if we can um, substitute this into this equation, we have Y equals 9, and we have X equals 9 over 4. So we end up with uh, the 9s cancelling out, so K is equal to 4. Okay, that's 9 over 4. And, sorry, what am I doing? That's a 2. Why did I put 9? Excuse me there. That was a bit of a silly mistake. I'll keep it in the video just to show that we all make silly mistakes, but you have to just check properly. Okay, so y equals 2. I don't know why I wrote 9 there. Um, so now we're going to replace the, the y with 2 and the x with 9 over 4. So then we can multiply both sides by 2. That gives me 8 over 9. So therefore, k equals 8 over 9. So we've got k equals 8 over 9. So there are the answers to part, um, part A, 1 and 2. Okay, so this is A part 1, and this is A part 2. Okay, now for part B. It says define the region R. So we, now we know that this is y equals 8 over 9k and we know that this is x equals uh, 9 over 4 okay so we know 8 over 9x oh, sorry about that y equals 8 over 9x and that's um, x equals 9 over 4 um, so we got to define the region R2 also shaded, so shown shaded in, um, in figure 2 so we can see that um, here we have a dotted line Okay, so the dotted line means it is not included. So we say x is greater than 9 over 4. That's one inequality. Then we have these other two inequalities. There's three lines that define R2, so it's going to be three inequalities. We can see that the region R is below um, the line y equals 10 minus 2x. So it's y is less than or equal to 10 minus 2x because it's below it. Okay, it's the region underneath it. If you wanted to test it, you could test, like, for example, the origin. It's, it's also the same same side of the line as R. If you test the origin, this will say zero is less than equal to ten. So we know that it's in the correct, it's in the region that defines inequality. So therefore, this shaded region is also in that region. Okay, and then you have y equals eight over nine x. We can see that the region we want is in the region which is above it. So it's y, y is greater than or equal to nine, eight over nine x. And again, we could maybe test a region. We have to be sure that's in it. So this is nine over four. And this is 5, so like, um, let's say 8, and we could test the region. Let's test the region that we know for sure is um, above it, say 0, 2. That's definitely above it, the same, same, same side of that line as this. So 0, 2 is an easy one to use. We could even use 0, 1, also above it, right? So if you put 0, if you put 1 here, and 0, and 0 there, it'll say 1 is greater than equal to 0, which is true. So we can see that every part, everything above this line satisfies the inequality, so that's correct. Okay, so we're, here we have our three inequalities which are defined. Don't forget the dotted one should not have the equal sign with it, but the other ones should have the equal sign with it. And that's part B, and that completes this question, question number seven from the um, May-June 2023 paper other questions from this paper can be found in the playlist that will appear in this region over here other questions from um, the topic of inequalities and regions can be found in the playlist over here you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link and over here you will find um, a video which t teaches you how to um, use my channel to find what you want in an efficient manner thank you for watching and see you soon